are my friends Gail and Casey. They built their fabulous retirement home right on the lake here in Cultus Lake, British Columbia. And we're here to do a color rescue today. Yay! Yay. Wow! <laughs> well, come on in! <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am about today. I've wanted this for so long. I'm like bursting, absolutely bursting. <laughs> Maria called us and said, how would you like a one day makeover? Now, Maria and I and Casey have been friends for a couple of years now, which is pretty awesome. And of course, I love what she does. So I was super excited. Well, I was pretty excited too, because you know, the two of us banging this back and forth together, it, it, we were moving forward with, with time to try everything, tie everything together with color and patterns and fabric, you know, so it wasn't, wasn't an easy thing and it's not our specialty anyway. So one of the things that bothered Gail a lot when they first moved in their furniture, because this came from their last house, their dining room set, was the fact that visually the dining room table is the same size as the island. So she said, I feel like it kind of looks like a bit of a runway. The other thing that would be better is if it looked more collected. So I would suggest a round table here with maybe some upholstered chairs, maybe even a combination of a couple of different kinds of chairs. So, and then of course we need some lamps over here. This would then make it easier to walk through, right? Because it's a, you know, it's a smaller space. So we need to accommodate for that. So if you have a tight space, the way to always have your furniture when you're not dining is pull it away, right? Because a dining table has a lot of chairs, right? So it doesn't need to be so, like they don't all need to be round. So I pulled the two chairs out and that gave me room to pull the table down. Now there's less of a runway situation with the table lining up to the island like it was before. And this is just what you have to do when you're in a small space. So now the two of them can dine together for meals but then when they have a dinner party then you pull it out and this now gives us more space for everything and if they want to keep the rectangular table they can but we need a new area rug we need some we need a coffee table some end tables and we most definitely need more lamps yay when you're shopping for an area rug all right you can either take the pillow with you if you have a matching pillow from your sofa or take out a fan deck and match the color if you have a colorful sofa or if you have a neutral sofa like this one then you could use my neutral color wheel to match it up. So we could see that this matches the blue gray. And then what's great about these sofas is they coordinate with the blue gray fireplace. Now the fireplace is primarily blue gray, but it does also have some green gray undertones. So this is a really nice versatile stone. And this is what we're gonna use when we go shopping. Another boat propeller. This time we're on the lake. It would work. It we're would. On Come on now, <laughs> boat propeller people. When we arrived, we did a bunch of moving things around. So we got a late start with the shopping. So at the end of the day, it was around four o'clock. I sent her home with all the things. And that night, put a little doubt in her head. So then this morning, she greeted me with a list of things that were for sure not gonna work. For sure it's going back. And this is why, as a decorator, you really wanna install everything at the same time. Otherwise you're selling each individual piece all over again. So I said to her yet again, Gail, you gotta trust the process. Let's wait till the whole room is together. Then we can decide what's going back. What's going back? Nothing, kids, no. This is the rug we found and it works with everything. I love how it picks up the white in the bookcases. Oh my gosh, it's so good. The other one was too dark. So, and then we found these two to kind of break up the sameness of the matching set. Okay, so my idea was, cause it looks super empty here with nothing. Cause at first I thought it was too cluttery. Let's take everything off, but it looked really empty. It's a custom grass situation. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is custom, right? This is the custom world. Okay, we got some fake ferns on this side. And now we got like the bottom of a lake. Now we're looking up and they're kind of going through the water. What do you think, Gail? <laughs> I absolutely <laughs> never would have thought of that, but I think it looks great. It's it super fun. Great. Yeah. Okay, now we have to arrange the bookshelves. Yeah, that's, awesome. that's the next thing. Wow. 
Is this for Halloween? Uh, no, no, it's it's a boat chain. Like, calm down. For whose boat? <laughs> it's decor. This is how it's supposed to be. You can have a little coaster there for a drink if you like, but don't move it, don't touch it. That's how it's supposed to be. Well, this would work in real shallow water with a small boat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's a decoration. Well, it looks pretty darn good, so I guess. What the heck? So since we were on a time crunch, as this was a one-day makeover, Gail was super gracious. But I knew that my bossy and charming side would have to kick in in order to produce the result in a timely fashion and also to get the result to look the way that it was. It's, <laughs> it's worked out pretty good. Yes. It, you know, no, it worked out excellent. What am I saying? Yeah. So you know, we couldn't have done this with just the two of us. Impossible. So it, 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 it's always nice to get another point of view, yeah. especially from someone that specializes in color and texture and how yeah. everything looks, right? So yeah. mm -hmm. I'm looking around this room right now going, wow, this is, this is like, wow. Everything was coming together really great and we had these two pieces of art and Maria wanted to hang them right in the pillar in the middle of our two windows that is our main viewpoint to the lake and I went absolutely not and I actually went really quiet like you're not going to do that and Casey's going to hate it and I don't know about this and then they went up and it was like oh my gosh like it looks so amazing and what I love about it is it'll give us something to look at at night because when the when the drapes are closed you don't see you don't see the lake so now we have a view not only during the day but at night and we still can see the lake so it's perfect but i absolutely was a no Kel and i had a moment when we were talking about that art she was pretty clear she did not want anything to obstruct her view but i knew that art had to go up by the way on day two of my expert color and design training i teach you how to have those tough conversations as a homeowner to your contractor, as a designer to your contractor and to your clients. They need certainty and you need to give it to them. Here's the other thing. It was really important to repeat the black of the big windows in the room, but we only did that twice. We did that in the big overscale lamp. Remember the bigger a lamp is, the more expensive it looks. And also in the two pieces of fabulous dramatic art that ended up staying above the sofa. Oh yeah. One of the many things I love about Maria, she's very much a straight shooter. I needed a little push for some of the things she did. And I absolutely was not in agreement with a few of them. My bossy friend just kept pushing. And in the end, it was beautiful. And if I would have done my way, it would have looked very similar to what I already had that I didn't like. So I love what she did. And I love that she pushed me. Like she always said, she says, wait till it's finished. Don't look at one piece and go, oh, that's not going to work. Wait till you see the whole thing. And, and that's... That's what kind of kept us quiet to some degree, right? So yeah, it was a lot of fun. So I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. One of the things that I love the most about this finished space is it's not only the way it looks, but it's the way it feels. There's just such a great energy when you walk into the room. The best thing about this color rescue was that there were seven lamps in that room when I was done. One in each of the corners, right? Two on the mantel, two in the other corner, then the big overscale lamp right in the corner. You walk into the room, that's what you see. So that was important that that was like a big lamp. Then in the other two sections of the room were the two opaque lights. Once you've got the lights that glow in the room with the off-white shades, then you can have little spots that don't necessarily have a shade on them. And that creates a whole other glowy feeling in the room. So this is the note she sent to me the next morning. Sitting on the couch in our beautiful new main floor with all the lamps on. The fireplace going, sipping my coffee, feeling like a queen. 
it's such a special place to be. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, Gail, that was super fun. If you like this video, please subscribe below. And if you live in the Lower Mainland and you have a room that needs to be styled up like this, email some photos over to mariakillam at gmail.com and you might be in my next color rescue. And one more thing, I have also launched our Get Me Started package, relaunched it on the website in my eDesign pages. So if you would like me to help you long distance with a makeover, check out the links below. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.